Hi, this is Mark from Spectre Web Designs. Um, if you're watching this video, um, the chances are that you've opted to update your own website plugins with me. Um, just to remind you that I do offer service to do this uh, and just to keep on top of your website for you. Um, speak to me if, uh, if you want to know more information. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you the sign in, the first page you'll come to and we're going to show you two things. One, how to back up your website. So before you update any plugins, I do suggest you back up the website. It doesn't take that long, it's a click of a button. But up till today, I've not op um, offered this to my customers. So I'm now going to offer this. Uh, with the hosting I provide, there is this quick, very quick option to back up. Some hostings don't actually provide this, which I find very surprising, because um, it is such a simple thing. So without further ado, uh, this is the Plesk sign-in page. I will send you a link to this page um, just so you get uh, to know where to sign in. Uh, you would already have a sign-in if you're looking after your own website, but this is a different one. This takes you to a server panel, your control panel. So if you put your username and password into here, you will come to this page. Now this page becomes there's two. There's actually two pages. There's the old page, which is going out of date, and uh, apparently it all goes over to this in March 2024. So if you come to a page and this banner at the top here is yellow, you will see along here switch to dynamic list. Um, you would have turned. You would have come up on the active list. Just look for this first. If you've got a yellow banner, click so you go to dynamic list, which is what we're on now. This is where it's going to all be in 2024. So you come to this page. This is uh, it's basically a, um, a panel here with a number of options. Now, I suggest probably not to touch too many. Some of these, uh, this is for my Spectre Web Designs website, but some of these won't be on, they won't be available to you because I, I obviously can't have all my customers getting into everything on the website because God knows what will happen. Um, I say that tongue-in-cheek. What we're interested in is to click on WordPress. So we need to go from here and open the WP Toolkit. Because what we're after is an option to back up and restore, which is what you see here. Back up and restore. So let's go to there. Now you get to this option. So this, if you've got previous websites that you've backed up, they will be here. Previous uh, times in the past we've backed your website. So let's click back up. You can see on the right hand side here, it's just backing up. Now, it takes a few minutes. Uh, obviously depends on how big the website is. So we're just gonna wait for that to, to um, go. And in the meantime, so, what we're doing here, everything's going to back up and it's going to sit here. You will see a line here. Now, here we go. So we now see it's been backed up. It's the 9th of November at 10 to 10 in the morning. And we've backed up the website. So before I show you um, how to do the plugins, um, I just want to say that if you've made an error, so say you um, have done something on your website and it's crashed and sometimes when you update a plugin you could get critical error white screen we've sent you an email to tell you what there is and you cannot get back on your website it does happen from time to time and this is one of the reasons why it's important to back up so if that has happened you think oh my god I can't even get onto it sign back into Plesk come to your backup and restore and this option here restore and if you press that, it will put your this one that you've updated back on the screen. OK, so it's a brilliant way. Back it up before you do your plugins. If anything horrendous happens, you've always got this to come back to to put your website back up. OK, so we've backed that up. So we've signed into our website, which you should know now. And you've got to your dashboard. So you will see there's a couple of update areas. So this one is the plugins, but your plugins are also here at the top under the dashboard. And this one will also include the theme if it needs updating. So I would look between the two just to make sure you've got them. So I'm going to click on update. 
Now this one open, uh, uh, often uh, a thing, because I build your website in Elemental, there's a little data of data. You want to click on that. That can run in the background and scroll down. Um, WordPress, um, it's, I mean, I'm not, uh, I've just had an error. This is why I'm doing this, because WordPress automatically updated to a version which crashed all the shops. It's, a, it's probably a worldwide thing, hence the reason I'm now making this um, video for my customers, just so they can update their plugins. So if you do this manually, this is where if it says to you, um, you've got a new version of WordPress, click here to update it. It even says here, back up your database files. So even it's warning you to do that um, before you update. So here are your plugins. Now you can select all. Okay, um, I know WP Armor, that can be a little bit, it just likes to update in its own time. So I'm just gonna click three of mine. and click update. This doesn't take long. It'll go to an update screen and we just wait here to see uh, it'll whir into life. There we go. Update, update, update. If you've got um, an error or something it will tell you here and sometimes it will say unable to update at this time and come back to it later. And then we've got a couple more down here. Oh there's the Astra one there. Okay, and we're going down there, but I've left that one because I know it loads to itself. I've got a theme. Now your website has plugins and also has a theme. I haven't used this theme, but it's one I have as a backup. It's, it's worthwhile just keeping your themes up to date as well as a plugin. So click on that and update. Okay, so I'm gonna hit plugins here just to see what we've got. So these are some of the plugins that I've got on my website. See, there's the WP Armor. I know that's gonna update in two days, so I'm gonna leave it. Most of your plugins I have got an automatic update. There'll be some that I don't do it for purely because it, it can cause a big crash. And one of them is Elementor Pro. So always back up before you update Elementor Pro. It's a very heavy plugin. Um, and it can clash with other things. Okay, so that's it. That's all done. So, um, as I say, any problems, please get in contact. But that is how you update your plugins.